वेलकम बैक टू इनसेट बिल्डर चैनल डेटा लीडर्स पाइथन एक्सपर्ट्स एंड लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल ऑटोमेटर्स डिप्लॉय हगिंग फेस मॉडल्स इन सेज मेकर एट स्टेप्स टू गेट इन्फ्रेंस इन पॉइंट फ्रॉम द एडब्ल्यू एस सेज मेकर वॉट चैलेंजेस सेज मेकर सॉल्व एंड हाउ इट सॉल्व सो आई हैड डिस्कस दिस पर्टिकुलर स्लाइड इन द अर्लियर वीडियो यू कैन टेक अ लुक एट दैट हाउ एवर in this video we are going to work on this deploy part of the entire uh, you know various challenges that sage maker solves and we are going to see the demo of that deploying process so i'll be going walking you through the steps that you need to take these are the steps you need to follow the eight steps that i was discussing about creating role domain creating the user creating the instance understanding the sage maker classes pulling the model in and storing in s3 bucket and creating inference endpoint and predicting the pulling the model and storing in s3 bucket i had already made a separate video where i introduced about sage maker as well as the process of you know understanding the hugging face models let me go to the browser for a moment and i will show it to you that you can take a look at this particular video in my youtube playlist and you can get the necessary information from that video and also i will be attaching the link of that video too the point i wanted to make here is that we will be working with the model that is stored inside the s3 bucket and the, the overarching reason for uh, you know showing you this process is that lots of open source models are coming into the play recently and having a way to have having a way to predict from those open source models is very important that is the reason why i am you know making this video there are a couple of choices you need to make once you st start working with the sage maker uh, service in amazon aws first and foremost you need to have an aws account and there is a free tier available for amazon sage maker also so you can review that here we we'll, you can use this uh, there is a, i mean for the uh, for the purpose of uh, this particular tutorial and uh, for practicing with the models uh, this whatever is given for free is more than sufficient so make use of this uh, particular uh, feature and uh, do register to aws and uh, you know get this uh, get the tutorial up and running so it it shouldn't take take a lot of time and ensure once you are going to sign into aws after the sign up process set up a budget for your billing and keep your aws keys and secrets extremely uh, you know safe don't uh, you know <laughs> commit it to github repo or anything so that will be you know very detrimental for your account we will be working on these uh, ml m5 x large and ml g4 dn x large instances so this is uh, 4 vcpu 16 gb 16 gig machines so this is accelerated so g4 dn is an accelerated machine while m5 is a regular uh, op memory optimized machine so this you can see the cost here so this is a little bit cheaper and this is costlier we will be deploying it on this particular machine so i'll be showing you how to do that most important point is that amazon sage maker hosting provides real time inferences and uh, based on the instance types that i showed you above and also it has built in rules so you, you can actually give up to uh, you know i think you can give n number of rules but you can allow the rules to be monitored for 30 hours for free after that it will be charged so you know take a look at these things i am not actually delving into any of these uh, Uh, the setting up of sage maker i am not really you know uh, going in detail this is not for uh, you know setting up of sage maker and understanding the sage maker uh, environment this is about using the sage maker and getting the inference end point okay so even though even though uh, this is about that i need to give you a very basic introduction about how to set it up because you are going to do by everything by yourself you are going to have a free account in aws you are going to set up the sage maker you you need to have some bare minimum idea right or else how will you how are you going to do that so it will be difficult for you guys so i am trying to make it easy for you because i face those challenges and i am thinking that you guys also might so that's the reason why i'm making this video starting with the process when once you go once you have the account and once you go to the sage maker uh, aws sage maker page you will have a get started uh, uh, you know option here so click on that you will be asked to create a role and also you will be asked to create a sage maker domain so both of these things you have to complete once you click on create role you will be given an option so are you a data scientist or an ml ops or a sage maker compute role we will be choosing ml ops okay and then we will be you know selecting all these options that i have shown here and also after we select all these options we need to still provide s3 full access and sage maker full access to the same role 
this is something that we need to do and uh, and then after the role has been successfully created so basically what this does is this particular uh, feature when you click on it cre create role it uh, does the automatic create uh, role creation process it it completes that it's basically a function that's get invoked and uh, once that function is invoked and completed then only you can go for setting up the SageMaker domain and once you set up the SageMaker domain this will be pretty easy guys once your role is ready this role will be used in SageMaker domain or sometimes what will happen is there will be an uh, you know the Amazon managed uh, SageMaker service catalog product execution role also will get assigned so if that gets assigned go go ahead and use that itself but if it doesn't get assigned then use the role that you created so this is something which can actually become little complicated and i cannot predict how your account will work okay so as i was telling i am giving you a brief uh, uh, brief primer on how to get the inference endpoint and the sage maker as a service so uh, i i suspect that th there could be a challenge here but uh, you you will be able to solve it just by doing a google search and you will be able to execute it i am i am confident about that if if in case you face any problem okay or else you will be able to execute it using this amazon change maker service itself so this is the process you need to follow and get the domain so once you get the domain right and inside the domain when you are creating the domain itself you will, you will actually get the user profile set up and once your user profile is set up then you can create the application so this is the for, this is the format we will be following and once the application is ready in the application we can start the studio notebooks so it will be actually simple so once you see it in demo right it will be really simple i will be also showing you the pitfalls where you can get into some challenges so let us go to the demo right now and before we go to the demo i want to you know give you a brief background so my model dot uh, tar dot gz is already stored in the, in the bucket boto hyphen bucket 16 i already stored it and i already have shared this information in the earlier video i'll be using that going forward and where did i get this model from i got the model from hugging face again distilled base uncased fine tuned ss to english this is a text classification model that i'll be using and this is a very small model that's why i took it the reason as i always say in all my videos that you need to understand some new concept then you need to understand it at the bare minimum level right so in case of hugging face uh, inference endpoints creation the bare minimum level is that you create a model you create inference endpoint and you should be able to provided text or whatever input you are giving and it should give an output so this is the basic minimum requirement that you need to uh, you know complete and after that you can start uh, start practicing with uh, you know complex and uh, more involved uh, practices but this is a very ba basic thing that you need to complete and uh, the link uh, this should be pretty simple if you go and search for this model in the in the hugging face hub you will be able to get it you do sign up to hugging face up that's very important guys it's, it's open source and uh, they have a phenomenal number of uh, models and tasks that these models can do i have been i have created a separate playlist itself for this uh, particular uh, uh, this particular uh, just a minute so i have a separate playlist where i am uh, curating all the hugging face related uh, discussions and uh, you can actually take a look at that and you'll you'll get a you know uh, good idea of how to work with hugging face models because i have been covering langchain related and uh, unstructured related uh, uh, concepts in my past uh, playlist so that you guys must have seen it uh, langchain is also having a very good support and it's also open source langchain is also open source and it has a very good support for uh, hugging faces text generation and text to text generation activity that is task in future i'm pretty sure that the rest rest of the tax tasks also will get implemented in langchain or uh, i know it is it will be open source and we will we might have to you know implement that uh, we have to you know work together and implement that we will see it's open source right we have to also contribute uh, so in which whichever way we can contribute do contribute to langchain and it's one of the phenomenal piece of software that is uh, getting built uh, coming back to hugging face you can take a look at this and uh, you can use this model and push the model to boto3 bucket and keep it ready for the next step okay uh, now let us go back to the presentation for a moment so i have given you the brief about uh, what we are going to do and uh, this part we have already done that in the earlier video now what we are going to do is i am going to run you through this uh, steps creating role domain user and also creating the instance right let us go to the browser 
and go to the SageMaker page and uh, let me take a step back once you uh, you will be seeing the starting point so this is the starting point get started click on get get started you will be provided with these two options so you can click on create role that is the first step you have to complete and uh, you can give a name so i have already done that so you can i can uh, give a name here and then i can select the ml ops persona and once you select the ml ops persona just give the next and you will be already provided with various uh, points uh, features selected so let the features whatever is selected let it be there give s3 full access this is very important right but these guys are not given a full access to SageMaker. so what what you guys it's better to do is that you add a separate role uh, again i'm repeating you should add a separate role which actually gives access to uh, gives access to the SageMaker to create this role so you understood right what is going on so you have to give pass roles so these roles are going to this role will um, okay so just give me a moment okay this is the place where you can create the role and uh, you can actually choose the aws service come down here and choose the service inside this you can uh, you can type SageMaker and you can choose SageMaker inside once you select this and give SageMaker execution and you will get a role once you click the SageMaker execution, right? Take that SageMaker execution role and then, yeah, just a minute. I'm not complete because I've already done that. So you have to add it in the pass role here. So in both manage pipelines and manage uh, the models, you pass it and then you click on next and it will get completed. Uh, till then it will not get completed. So complete that process. Okay. And uh, once you complete the, uh, complete the process of getting the role done, then what you need to do is you need to go for creating the domain. So if you click on launch SageMaker and you say create domain, what will happen is it will start the process of creating the domain for you guys. You have to give the domain name, you have to give the, uh, the default username, change this default username and you'll see that the execution role is automatically getting selected. Okay. And you can actually take a look at the various uh, uh, details that is provided here for you and you can create the domain. It will take little time so so be patient uh, let the domain get created there are lots of things it needs to be set up it's a linux server that gets set up in uh, at the base uh, of this domain so give it time for it to be done and once that is done then what you can do is you can come to domains so once you click on domains you will see that the domain is ready and it is in service that is when you are be you are ready for action now click on inside domain and you will see that you will see user profile and I have already created the user profile as I so showed to you that you can change the username. So change the username. Don't let it be the default. And you can click on domain settings to get the domain details also. Okay, so I am not going to show it to you how the domain settings are in my case. You can actually do it in your case. And here you don't need to click this. If you click this, you will get all the necessary information about this particular username. You can do that and explore it. What you need to do is click on studio here. Launch the application. Okay. And when this is very important because why i am telling this is okay let me actually show it to you because anyway i'm going to delete it so once inside the inside the user detail you will have the application so you will have the various application that has been already deployed and when you are going to delete the domain delete the uh, delete the entire setup that you have created sage mega setup it's very important because you are going to work on free uh, tire right you cannot keep running so you need to clean up as i say always in uh, my videos that you do all the tutorials and then revert it back to a clean slate that is also something that you need to realize and we need to delete all these things before we clean up so that's why you know i'm showing it to you guys how how it works so we have to go here and we can delete the app here and we can also delete the app that is you know given as a kernel gateway so both of these things we have to delete anyway now you are not going to delete again i am repeating now i am just only showing you this you don't need to delete after you get the studio up and running in my case studio is already running okay uh, let me go back to the domains i will again repeat this process because i had uh, in uh, digressed a bit once you click on inside domain you have to come down and when when you are once you are in this location click on launch and click on studio so uh, in past two three minutes i actually explained how to go into this user profile and see the applications uh, i'm now telling you how to launch the new application okay so i hope that you are clear what is going on you can also add user and uh, from that user also you can launch applications 
and that is the that is the brief that i am you know sharing it to you and once you do the launching you will get the uh, this particular studio like this so you will get an op this is a jupiter lab that gets uh, initiated inside the inside the SageMaker environment, inside the SageMaker domain. And uh, once you get this particular page, then you need to go to file and ask for new and click new notebook, sorry. Click and click on new notebook. So let me click a new notebook for you guys and I will show you what you need to do. So once you click the new notebook and yeah, immediately you will get this op option that what kind of instance you want to run and what is a kernel and what is a data science uh, what is the image that you need to use so there are certain challenges that you might face here so initially when you try to allocate the uh, image so if your if your roles are not appropriate uh, for an example when we started the amazon SageMaker, we created the roles correct uh, uh, where it is so we created the roles when we are yeah, getting started we created the role and if in this role it's not having sufficient power to work with various images uh, like amazon uh, managed images or it's not able to work with s3 bucket it will throw an error so when you start this particular notebook and try to connect it to an instance it will throw an error so at that time you should know that uh, we have to go and change the role permission so most probably you need to give s3 full access role and SageMaker full access role. These are the two things that you might have missed and uh, go back and provide that role. It will work for you guys. Fine. And whatever I'm going to show here is already provided to whatever code that I'm showing in this particular notebook is already provided inside the deploy option inside the hugging face hub. So you go here and you can see that all the code that I'm using here is already provided there. And also I have discussed this same point in the presentation in this location so this is where i am you know discussing so i am i am discussing two different models here so this side the the right side of this presentation discusses about how to use eleuther's ai gpt j6 billion this is an example that i am showing here even if i use this torch float hyphen dot 16 the model size will be 12 gb okay it is a quite a huge model and it will take a lot of time to deploy and also to work with i you can actually take this as the next exercise for the first exercise go with this the left side where i'm working with the simple model the distal bird base uncased text classification model and you need to provide this environmental hub so this is the model id and this is the task that we provide and then we are going to use a deploy and predict so predict i have not shown here uh, so uh, I have shown only up to deploy here. So all these things I will show it in the browser in a moment. I am moving back and forth. Uh, if you guys want, you can actually slow down the video a bit. Or uh, my suggestion would be that run the video in parallel in uh, parallel to your Chrome browser so that you can see what is going on. So you can pause the video and uh, do the settings that you want to do and then uh, restart the video. So that's how I learned most of the things. So uh, as I showed you, so I have actually split up the code and uh, I'm getting the role execution and uh, I am uh, providing the model URI. This model URI already shared with you guys. This is the role that I am attaching. This is the role that I'll be attaching here. So this is the role I'm attaching here. And then this is the format I need to use for this digital but uncased uh, text classification model. And then I need to deploy it. Okay. When you start deploying, in this location the things might start erroring out why it might error out is because a couple of reasons if you don't having the sufficient role it will error out if your role is not able to pull down the amazon image it will error out if your role is unable to connect to the s3 bucket it will error out okay all these things will be shown very clearly to you when you are uh, when this error occurs so stay calm <laughs> okay so stay calm uh, and uh, look at the error understand what is the problem most probably it is a problem with your roles that you have assigned you might have to play with the role that you are uh, uh, you are assigning it to it it's a very simple thing you have to go to your iam uh, roles and get the ar number so on every role at the top left on the IAM page on the top right sorry on the top right you can see the ARN numbers so just click copy it and bring the role uh, in the clipboard to this particular location and assign it to role one uh, 
uh, variable and then it should work so if you are facing any challenges you might have to do some kind of a brute force so that's why i'm you know giving you heads up right now and most of you guys i have i have been in your same boat uh, before seven seven months i was also you know struggling with aws initially it is little tough but once you master the basics it is one of the uh, one of the best uh, services out there but yeah you have to master the basics and also you need to understand how the multiple entities work so in this case aws and hugging face are working together and uh, you see this hugging face model this is the class that is inside the SageMaker library and sometimes yeah if you are going to look at this video say after some uh, 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 three months or uh, you know six months from the day i have made this video you might actually see that uh, you have to upgrade your SageMaker uh, library to ensure that the proper hugging face model class is getting imported and even after importing the class the configuration here might be different so always go back and check what the hugging face guys are telling and what their forum is also talking about so you will be able to solve most almost all of the problems so uh, both aws as well as hugging face have a very good forum where people share their information share their knowledge once you provide your troubles there but when you are providing your troubles clearly provide the error and also clearly state what is the code that you are executing and tell them okay this is the error i am getting then only people can support you or else <laughs> what happens is when you only give the part of the error there could be hundreds of reasons why that error comes so no one can guess right now give them the complete code and also uh, you might have to do some uh, uh, cleaning you cannot give share your credentials i uh, completely agree with you but do some cleaning put it on your text uh, put it inside the text uh, document do some cleaning then copy paste it into the, into the forum that's how you can you know get some people's help right so once you do the hugging face model deployment and you click on uh, this particular deploy ensure that you are selecting this ml m5 large okay and once the deployment is complete you will see this kind of dashes and finally an exclamation mark and after that you can start executing so first this is a very impressive looking sedan so it's a positive output and second working with multiple roles are very frustrating and that is a negative uh, score of 0.99 so you see that by using the model that is already uh, uh, you know available in open source we could actually download it put it inside the sage maker and start working with it with yeah you have to understand a lot of things about sage maker but yes you can do it it's uh, actually uh, way more easier and one more thing that i wanted to share here is that just a minute i also wanted to share a couple of information regarding the uh, amazon sage maker let me go to the home if you go to the home right you can actually come down a bit and we can uh, yeah just a minute inside the models you can actually look at the shared models so inside the shared models you can find a lot of models that has been shared uh, by amazon ecosystem also and you can cl click on the jumpstart models and you can see lots of models that is already available inside and you can review this also and these models are all open source you, you understand one thing the point of models being open source and running the models is totally different to run these models you need a good server you need a good uh, you know machine that is a computer that can read these models work with the models run python code and do it so that is offered by aws also aws team is providing us an additional support where we can deploy the model and we can actually deploy the model that is already available so all these things they have provided and also they provide the model details and they provide you the step that you need to uh, do the training and working with the notebooks all these options are given to you guys take a look at this and play with this when you are you know having some time the reason why i am telling you this is that in in pretty uh, you know in uh, uh, near future what will happen is you might have to understand uh, the models that is available there and you might have to team up with these models for getting your work done so uh, uh, know the models in detail work with the models go to hugging face up also uh, you know read the model card and understand them intuitively it's like you know uh, in the future there will be lots of challenges which you will face as a developer and uh, we will all together have to improve rapidly in a rapid pace for that we need to understand how to work with artificial intelligence models so you know go through this process go to go through the card see how it is used see how others are being how, how others are using 
and uh, also share your information so once you use it and you face any challenges share it with others uh, like how i am sharing you can share it with others so all these are some of the ideas that i wanted to share with you guys Ap apart from excuse me apart from uh, you know uh, apart from just providing the basic information that i am already you know sharing with you guys uh let us go back yeah this is the yeah the, uh, this particular code i will be again uh, sharing it as a jupyter notebook you can practice it you can also i suppose you can import you can do a git repository connection also here and you can import the notebook directly so that should also be a possible thing so you can uh, you can do that and you can but it's a simple code guys so you don't need, you can actually you know look at the video and type it or you can copy paste it also but still i'll be sharing the notebook with that said let me go back to the presentation and uh, yeah we are here so i hope that you uh, like this video do leave a like and uh, share it with others that's very important and subscribe to my video so that further updates on hugging face artificial intelligence large language models big data and python related uh, information will be shared the updates of those videos will directly hit your youtube dashboard with that guys i would like to take the leave with four words as usual practice 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 see you guys have a great time